Okay, uh, this evening uh, I'm testing the net lift on a uh, R1 cam that I've installed in my uh, Studebaker Packard uh, 289 motor here. Uh, the R cam is, has been mounted to a, a temporary uh, f fiber gear just for this test. Normally this, these engines have uh, aluminum uh, cam gears with the R cams and uh, for this test I'm just using a temporary fiber uh, gear. Uh, we've got the last set on the rocker and we're going to rotate it over to see the the gain that we have with the uh, rocker arm modification on a on an R cam. We're at a baseline of zero on the intake Now the exhaust is starting to open. Now the uh, intake is starting to open on the overlap crossover. There's uh, one tenth or a hundred thousandths, two tenths. Three tenths or three hundred thousandths intake lift, four hundred thousandths, and um, about four or five there is where I had the net lift when I was testing a standard cam, and about uh, four twenty, four twenty five was the net lift that I got off of the standard cam with a a, a, a second version uh, change on the rocker arm. 430, 440, 450, 455, there's the peak. 455, uh, 0.455 or 455 thousandths. Yeah, there's the peak, 455. And, uh, back around to zero again. So uh, using the R cam uh, we moved it up a, a nice bit uh, there. The, it looks like the gain over the R cam which normally they come in around about 0.375. So here at uh, 4.455 we've got about, uh, about 80 thousandths gain over a standard uh, R1 cam, R2 cam. And over a standard cam itself, if that was a, the cam that was in it, we would have a little over a hundred, a little over a hundred thousand skein uh, on a on a standard cam. So I'm real pleased with this uh, improvement in, in the ability of the cam to to get more air into the uh, intake there. Okay, uh, thank you for viewing, and uh, you have a good day. Bye bye.